Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. I have some good news for those that are active in the marijuana legalization front. High Times has a great piece in which they look at the Trump budget with a very different perspective. They say pot matters. Trump budget actually pushes legalization. Listen to this. This is very interesting indeed. It says the recent budget proposal by the Trump administration will increase the pace of marijuana's legalization in the United States by proposing drastic cuts in federal programs. The Trump budget, whether enacted, ignored, or modified by Congress, highlights the needs for state governments throughout the nation to develop and seek new sources of revenue. Trump's budget protocols have been described as dead on arrival by Congress, which actually determines the budget for the United States government. For example, Lindsey Graham and other prominent Republican senators rejected Trump's call to slash foreign aid. Why, Senate Democrats, who votes, of course, are needed to pass any appropriations bill to fund the budget, will block spending increases and reductions required to enact this president's budget plan. Nonetheless, the budget reveals a lot about Trump's priorities and overall These highlights determined opposition to federal spending on social programs throughout the nation. So think about this. What this is going to do is because he is taking money away from social programs and directing them towards defense spending, towards homeland security, towards, um, well, an imperialistic pivot, not to mention the fact, you know, you're talking about, um, these walls and and everything else. And believe me, folks, we'll be paying for it before we get reimbursed. The money's got to come from somewhere if they're not going to incur a debt. And he's slashing um, a lot of programs that have to do with, you know, education, uh, that the states are going to have to pick up the slack on if they want to continue. Health and welfare, huge cuts, EPA, State's going to have to pick up the slack for that if they want to continue. You know, there's a whole slew of things here that's on the chopping block with uh, President Trump budget. So what this means is they're going to have to find and get creative with revenue without pushing more taxes. Because, you know, in states like Connecticut, Massachusetts, New York, Illinois, Maryland, California, you're talking about states with already high tax burdens. So what are you going to do? Are you going to continue to push more taxes on people and drive people out of the state, drive businesses out of the state? Or are you going to do things to get creative, like legalizing drugs, you know, legalizing marijuana? Why not? You know, let me tell you something. They do it in Amsterdam, and Amsterdam is certainly not a hellhole. It's a very nice city. They've got great policies. And the fact of the matter is, Where there's a will, there's a way. But if you take that money and you put it to good use, a la education, you know, educate people as to the dangers of these things, inform them, do things like put um, the antidotes of these in everybody's medicine cabinets, EpiPens in, in everybody's medicine cabinets, things like that, you know. If we do these simple things, you can change the whole dynamic. And, and make money doing it, you know, fund. If that's the way you want to do it, if you want to have the state run everything, well, hey, you got to come up with creative ways to do it. Legalizing marijuana is one of them. I think it's a great solution uh, or part of a solution. But as time goes on, you're going to come to find out that state budgets are going to get harder and harder to fund and they're going to need more and more until people are just going to be at their breaking point. It's coming. There's only, they can only kick the can down the road, but so far, folks. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and feel free to subscribe to our newsletter over at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.